Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Word Origins 294. The word origin today is klutz. Okay, so I'm doing a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. If someone is called a klutz, it means one is clumsy or a stupid person. So a clumsy person or a stupid person. Let's continue. Uh, the term is mostly used in the U.S. and Canada. Uh, it derives directly from the Yiddish term klotz, meaning a clumsy person or blockhead. So, you know, Yiddish, Jewish, so a lot of it may have also been popularized by the Jewish community, in, you know, out of New York City. The Yiddish term may have derived from klotz, meaning wooden block or lump. Remember, we also use the word blockhead to mean someone is stupid in English. So that's a common way. The idea is that like you don't have a brain, you just have like a block of wood or a block of stone in your head. The brain is missing. Uh, remember blockhead was often used a lot in the Peanuts cartoon. Unfortunately for, you know, Snoopy's owner, Charlie Brown, sometimes when they made fun of him, they often used to refer to Charlie Brown as a blockhead in that sense. So it was very commonly used at that time to mean a stupid person. Let's continue. Uh, and we got six examples to show just uh, how it's used. Here's the first one. Uh, what a klutz. He cannot seem to do anything right. Yeah, so this is a typical way you may hear it, like in a movie. Number two, she tends to drop things and knock things over very often. She is really a klutz. Right? This is the, especially the clumsy type of klutz. Uh, number three, when Superman reverses back to his regular identity of Clark Kent, he will often act like a klutz. Uh, and wear glasses so people won't suspect that he may be Superman, you know, to keep attention away from him. I, of, I often wondered about this one, whether this would really work. But that was the idea, I guess, you know, if he was if he was such a klutz, he couldn't possibly be Superman. Superman was supposed to be so cool. Uh, so it was a way of, you know, just, you know, trying to pull people's attention away of that possibility, you know, that he might have looked a little similar to him. All right, let's continue. Uh, number four, the former president of Ford was sometimes labeled a klutz. Yeah, unfortunately, he did a number of clumsy things. He dropped things and, and tripped several times, and he kind of got that label while he was president. Uh, number five, the FBI agent character played by Sandra Bullock in the movie Miss Congeniality was a typical klutz. Yeah, before, you know, before they made her look beautiful anyway, and before she had to, you know, join the beauty pageant, they fixed her up, you know. Uh, even when she was a policeman, even though she was a very determined uh, policeman, but she'd often mess things up by being very clumsy, dropping things, things like that. All right, and number six here. Her son is often tripping and spilling food on his clothes. He cannot help but be a klutz. Okay. Anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.